Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Right now I am in Chenggu on the main island of Bali. Mainly like the things to do here are just shopping and eating. But today I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much you can buy in Chenggu with about $20. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I have no idea yet all that I'm going to buy. I'm gonna kind of just walk up and down the street and see what I find. Maybe go out to lunch, grab some snacks, maybe get some souvenirs, I don't know. So here's a little bit of downtown Chenggu. You can see nearly everyone has a bike, but I do not because mostly I am scared of riding bikes. Um, while Jordy was here, I did drive the bike a few times and was scared the entire time. The roads are so small, there are really no rules. So I, uh, I'm just gonna stay nice and safe on this sidewalk. <laughs> so my first order of business today is to find an ATM. Usually they're pretty easy to find, but I've been walking for a little while and haven't seen any, but that's right. I did hear about this Sunday market and it's about a 34 minute walk. So I'm thinking I'll head there, maybe see what I can find on the way. Um, and then kind of have that be my end destination. Then if I get a little too tired on the, I'll grab like a, one of these motorbikes to come back. There's like the public transportation here. Uh, there's a lot of motorbikes for hire, so guys on motorbikes, it's called um, Gojek. And it's kind of similar to Uber, except motorbike version. Okay, found an ATM. Now I've got to wait. While I'm waiting, I guess I'll just chat. So this is like the first video that I've made that I'm actually like speaking a lot while out and about doing things. And since I'm narrating while I'm walking, I have to like actually speak loudly so that hopefully the camera is picking up my voice right now so I don't know I feel like it's one of those people that is just like super obnoxious but I don't know I think it's a something I have to just get over if I want to be part of this youtuber life so wish me luck I just took out the extremely wrong amount. I took out three million when I meant to take out 300,000. I've got to do the conversion real quick. Okay, so yeah, I took out three million IDR, which converts to be about 200 USD. Ugh. It's okay, it's not a huge deal, but it was something that I was actually gonna mention is the amount of zeros on the money in Indonesia is very confusing. Because you can see here, this is their 100,000 bill. This is the highest bill that they have and there's five zeros on it. And so just distinguishing between like four, five, six zeros just by looking at the cash is very difficult. So as you'll see today, I'll show you guys like the price lists of things. You'll see everything just say like, like 50K, 55K, and so yeah, they're in like thousands. And about one of these is equal to about seven US dollars. So I'm going to head back to my hostel real quick and put some of this money in my room and lock it up because I do not want to be walking around with that much money just on my hand. So I'll also show you guys a little bit of my hostel. This one was called The Farm, and it was a really cute and really fun hostel. Out here is the pool area, and in here was my room, which I shared with five other girls. And now my favorite part, which was the bathroom. It was just an outside bathroom with plants everywhere. I was in love. All right, we are back on track. I have 300,000 now in my possession, not 3 million. So let's go see how much I can spend with 300,000. I know saying I just withdrew 3 million IDR for my account sounds extremely scary and for like half a second it freaks me out as well. It's fine. It was just a little bit scary at first. 
And again, learn from my mistakes. Make sure you count the zeros before you withdraw money in Indonesia. All right, so I am getting a little bit hungry. I have no idea if you guys can hear. So I am getting a little bit hungry. So I think my first stop is gonna try to be finding somewhere to eat. Um, I do like Indonesian food. They use a lot of soy sauce and peanuts, which I am big fans of. So I'm gonna find a little local Indonesian place and maybe get some lunch. So there it is. The ATM that made my life flash before my eyes for a quick second. I think I found this place here, which I might try. Warung Mama. Um, all of the Indonesian restaurants here typically have the word warung in it. So it's easy to find online if you're looking for Indonesian food. Just across the street. Hello. Are you guys open? Yeah. Okay. Can I have like um, a little bit of the potatoes and um, this one here? and like one of these patties thank you all right let's see Did me too? okay yeah okay so yeah i found this indonesian place and i don't know what some of the things that i got are so these are obviously potatoes this i don't know what it like there's beans in it but i don't know what the other part is but i've had it before and it's extremely tasty so i've got to figure out what that is and then I've had something like this before, um, where it's like a corn patty, but this one kind of looks a little bit different. So I'll have to bite into it and see exactly what it is. But all together, this meal cost me 19,000, which is about $1.50. So I'm off to a good start today. So this is really, really good. This is just potatoes and garlic, which are like two of my favorite things. Um, and then this is actually peanuts and uh, beans. Also very, very good. And onion. And um, I can tell there's some soy sauce in there too. Very, very tasty. And then I'm not 100% sure of what's all in this. It's, it's a lot of vegetables that are, I think, just kind of fried together in like a, a batter. But very good. And so very, very delicious lunch for only like a dollar fifty. So I misspoke. These, these are not beans. They're peanuts. <laughs> so it's like nuts mixed with other kinds of nuts, I think, with soy sauce and onions. So, so good. All right, I'm off. Thank you. All right, now to find what's next. Okay, um, it is extremely hot out here today. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time walking around. I'm going to try and pop into places to kind of cool off in between my walks. So maybe the next spot will be for some ice cream. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I'm for sure coming in here. It is, oh, okay, I don't know how to say it. Gelato and cafe. How are you? Good, thank you. Can I do a small cup? And can I get um, salted caramel and vanilla? Yes, please. Thirty thousand. Okay. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Here's my salted caramel and vanilla gelato. I don't know where my salted caramel gelato addiction came from but it's like all I've eaten since I've arrived in Bali <laughs> so this cost 
30,000. So now I'm at 49,000 total. So I still have still another 250,000 total to spend today. Which is quite a lot. Thank you very much. Have a good day. some great gelato exactly what I needed now I'm back in the heat I think I have like 10 but it's about a 10 minute walk left right now I'm about right where I was at the beginning of my time in Changu I stayed at a different hostel and I'm quite close to it now I didn't realize that this Sunday market was going on until like yesterday um, and then I found out that I was actually right next to it in my other hostel last Sunday so, um, so yeah, today I'm gonna go check it out. Here I'm coming up to my favorite cookie place. Uh, because I was staying in the hostel pretty close here, I went to this cookie place like nearly every day. They have like a white chocolate chunk and biscoff cookie. It's this place here. Dang cookies. If I have enough money by the end of the market, I will most likely be stopping there on my way back to get myself a cookie but those ones are 45,000 so kind of expensive just for one cookie but <laughs> it's that good okay here's the market I ended up leaving. I didn't find what I was looking for. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I didn't find it. It, it seemed like everything was homemade, which is great. And normally I would go crazy in these kind of places. But again, I have only very little money to spend and everything in there was quite expensive. And also I only have like a couple square inches of space in my backpack to put anything. So anything that I get has to be very small. I'm heading out now. There's like an art gallery nearby that I think also sells uh, souvenirs. So I'm gonna try over there next maybe. Nothing there either. And I'm getting a little discouraged because I've been searching for souvenirs for a while. Not just today, but like um, other days as well. I've been kind of searching and I've just found nothing. Which is now, I think, gonna make it kind of hard to reach my $20 price limit. So, hmm. on my way back, I suppose I'll start looking for other souvenir shops, like on the side of the road. Maybe there's some others with something. I don't know. So I came across this cute place. And I'm thinking maybe I'll have some luck in here. We'll see. Can I get can I get the the tan Echo Beach? Echo Beach? In the in the tan? Or in the in the medium, sorry? Medium. Yeah. Yes. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from the US. US? Whoa. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That I think that's a good. That, sh that looks like a good size, yeah. Told you. Okay. I give you a bloody cheap price. That's about, that's about my budget anyway. So. Yes. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. What's your name? I'm Claire. Clara. Yeah. Thank you so much, bloody beautiful <laughs> Clara from USA. From US. Yes. And what is your name? Adam. Adam. Yes. Nice, nice to you. meet you. Nice to meet Thank you, you too. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh. Um, maybe in a second. Yes, thank you. So I caved, bought a shirt for a hundred. So I think right now, what am I at? I'm pretty much at like 150. So I'm like halfway there, I guess. I got my brother a t-shirt. So I don't know, hopefully, I don't think he watches my YouTube channel, but if he does, then 
He knows what he's getting. I think that's all I've needed, so I'm gonna head out, I think. Maybe I'll head out and get that cookie next. Adam. 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 <laughs> Adam. <laughs> On my way back now. Oh my gosh, I am dripping sweat. That place did not have any fans or anything, so I'm just dying. I need to head in somewhere soon to cool off. I think that means it's time for a cookie. And I need to get into some air conditioning fast. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Let's see. I'm gonna get this, um, the white Biscoff. Yeah. Um, for here, please. Thank you. you have a horrible diet which kind of is true surprise um however i'm treating today as kind of like a treat yourself day so i deserve it i deserve a cookie and some ice cream and i now have a about a 20 minute walk still ahead um i ran out of water it's so hot i've been drinking it like crazy so about 20 minutes I'm gonna try and just make it all the way there without stopping again, just go back and relax. Oh yeah. No, I, that's not gonna be my plan. I forgot, I do have one more stop that I'm gonna make. It's closer to my hostel though, so I am going to stop filming. I will check back in with you guys when I get closer to my hostel. In the shade. All right, so I finally arrived. Now the last thing on my list today is to see if I'm able to get a massage. So here is the massage shop. You can see you can get a full body massage for a hundred. Hello. Hi. Yes, please. Ooh. Okay, they were able to get me in right away. So now I'll see you guys in a while. I'm gonna get my massage. Whew. All right, just finished at the massage place. It cost the remaining 100,000 IDR that I had to spend today. Um, and so that is like a little over $6. It is crazy how little the massages cost here. Hey. Okay. I'm kind of a little out of it right now. I've gotten um, massages in Thailand and in here in Thailand they really took your limbs and like stretched all your joints and then massage as well this one was uh, like a typical massage that I would get back in the States or something so yeah that was it that was my day I'm heading back to my hostel right now calling it a day um, so let's recap I guess so the beginning of the day I went and Oh, hi! <laughs> so the beginning of the day, I went to lunch, spent 19000 there. Then after that, went to get ice cream, which was 30000 Then went to get souvenirs for my brother. So that was 100000 So right now I'm at like about 150 And then I went and stopped and got that cookie. That was 50000 And then that massage was 100000 So... Yeah, in that day, I got all of that for around 20 US dollars. So it was a very good day. And I think I forgot to mention this before, but this is my last day here. So that's why I decided to splurge a little bit and treat myself to something nice uh, for my last day here. 
Thank you guys for following along. I hope you found this helpful so that if you're planning a trip to Bali, it can really help you gauge how much you're gonna spend per day. And also you can tell that a lot of the money I spent today was kind of just frivolous and not really important stuff. You can get by every day in Bali on much, much less than what I spent here today. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Thank you.